up guys welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video happy monday or whatever day it is that you're watching this video i really really truly wanted to make this video because honestly this is one of the number one things that i see people including myself including my peers friends and family struggling with in terms of reaching the next level reaching their goal or doing something that they really want to do like we all have things that we want to do whether it's start a YouTube channel, start a podcast, or we want to like do our first bikini competition, or we want to do a powerlifting meet, or we want to hit, hit a fitness goal. We want to step into the gym for the first time. We want to do something that we haven't done yet, and we have to have confidence and belief in ourselves to do that. But the number one thing that I think and I have seen holds people back is the fact that we don't believe in ourselves a lot of the time, and the fact that we don't have the confidence in ourselves to feel like we can accomplish that goal. So we just self-sabotage, we say all these mean things to ourselves and nothing ever happens. So I really wanted to share this video because although I'm not an expert <laughs> in self-confidence, I do have a lot of practices and things that I have done and learned in the past that have really truly helped me go from self-deprecating myself all of the time, constantly in the past, to now understanding when that happens, what to do about it, and it minimizes the amount of times that I do that to myself throughout the week, throughout the month, throughout the year, so I can reach my next goal. And I think that's probably the number one reason why people aren't really leveling up constantly all the time, because they don't feel like they can, and they feel comfortable where they are, and they tell themselves these things as to reasons why they can't get to where they are. So today, I wanna to share with you guys some of my favorite practices that I do personally to help me break through those walls. If I had a dollar for every single time I heard someone tell themselves a lie that they can't do something for whatever reason, I would, I don't know what I would be able to buy. I would be able to buy a lot of things. But if I were, if I were to hear like, I suck at X, Y, and Z one more freaking time, I swear to God, and trust me, I still do this myself, so I'm not void of any of these things. These are just things that I see all the time. So people wanting to start a YouTube channel and I ask, why don't you start one? And someone says, this is something that happened to me. Um, you know what, I'm really bad at public speaking. I stutter a lot, I hate the sound of my own voice, and I think I would just suck at it. And we're, we're like, we are so mean to ourselves. The things that we say, we say stuff like that all of the time. I remember specifically when I started this YouTube channel, I said, I don't like the sound of my own voice. I don't like public speaking, I'm terrified of it. I don't think that I would have too much to say. Who would even care to listen to what I have to say? I am not someone famous. I don't have a lot of life experiences. I am just some little girl from Rhode Island wanting to start a YouTube channel just because I think it would be cool. But you know what? It, a lot of the time I um, was held back from what people would think about me. And I'm sure if you guys are watching this, some of this stuff you can kind of relate to, so bear with me here. If I listen to myself and all of those things that I said, that I am not good at public speaking, I, am, I hate the sound of my own voice, I'm not good enough, I don't have enough experience, I'm not as cool or popular or whatever, Whatever, as other people, I wouldn't have started a YouTube channel. There would be no YouTube channel here. It would just be all these mean things that I said to myself. But because I didn't listen to myself, here's this YouTube channel. I started it, I put a video out there, and now I have 400 videos. I have a YouTube channel. There's almost 200,000 of you here. And I've built a community of people who are like-minded and like that was my goal the whole entire time. But if I just listen to myself over here, none of this would even be a thing. <laughs> <laughs> and it's all because of the way that I thought about myself, which is like absolutely crazy the amount of people who have done amazing things, that have influenced you, that have changed your lives for the better, and if you don't listen to yourself, imagine what could be if you just believe in yourself. And we're gonna go through a couple more things to make that a reality today, or hopefully move in that direction. So I truly believe that every bit of success starts with and stems from the way that we think about ourselves, like I said. Something practical that you can do to figure out the way that you speak to yourself and how to be more intentional about speaking to yourself better is to do this one thing that one of my students, Sabrina, in my Influencer Academy group, she recommended on our group coaching call, I think it was a week ago or so, and she said that something that she does to help herself understand what the way that she speaks to herself in her head is she'll videotape herself while she's driving or something when she's alone and she'll just talk to herself about herself. So I'm not sure exactly how she goes about it, but she'll say just things to herself about what she's accomplished and like what she thinks is, is negative about herself and all these things. And then one of my students, Jules, who listened to Sabrina's advice, posted in the group the other day, I'll show you her post right here, that she did this and she was absolutely mind blown at the way that she talks to herself. 
and she said that she spoke so badly about herself that she was just in shock because she would never speak that way to a friend, to a family member, to someone that she loves. So why doesn't she love herself enough to speak the same way and give herself and show herself some respect? So if you guys are struggling to realize or even kind of be self-aware of the way that you talk to yourself, I would try to do that exercise, see what happens. And if you do feel like the whole positive affirmation thing is too cheesy for you and you feel like it's fake um, in terms of like, telling yourself in the mirror every morning that you love yourself and you're fucking great and all this stuff and you feel like it's too cheesy because you don't believe it yet, I would maybe try this other thing because that'll give you more of the shock factor of like, oh, I don't even consider loving myself as a thing, <laughs> which can be really scary and terrifying, but I really highly recommend that this is something that you kind of start with. So number two is going to be to give yourself permission for the wins that you have in your life. So. I would like you guys to comment below on this video what you've done today or this week or this month or this year that you really are proud of. What have you accomplished, whether it's something huge, like you finish a whole new project and you always wanted to do it and like you started it and finished it, or if you just started something, or if you just did something small, like did something nice for someone today or smiled, for, smiled at someone or made someone else's life better. I want you to just write that stuff down somewhere, whether it's in the comment section or somewhere else and allow yourself to be, give yourself like a freaking medal for it and be like, I did this thing, like I, I deserve this thing. I got a trophy, I, need, I want a trophy for whatever small thing that I accomplished just because it makes us feel confident in what we've already done. And if we don't allow ourselves that time and that like moment to be like, yeah, fuck yeah, I did this thing, we kind of just stay at the same confidence level and we don't allow ourselves that boost up, that boost up, that boost up, that boost up. And over time, we just still stay here regardless of how many things we've checked off of our list. Does that make sense? If it does, let me know. And this is something that I struggle with too. So even with like all of the stuff that I've accomplished this year, a lot of the time I struggle to just take a minute and be like, damn, that was cool and I did a great thing and I'm really freaking proud of myself. Like. The FOCA launch that we just had, Fitness Online Coaching Academy. My team and I have been working on it since about March. It's taken us so much time, work, dedication to finally get it out there. And not only did we hit our goal, but we succeeded, succeeded our goal. We passed our goal. And for a minute, I was just like, great. Now let's like, what's next? How do we make these students, blah, blah, blah. Like, what do we do here? How do we make this better? But I didn't take a minute to be like, wow. That was really cool. And you know what, whenever somebody would come up to me and I would tell them like what happened and how awesome the launch was, I would be like, yeah, but you know, there was this problem and that problem. And I would just be like, wait, stop self-deprecating yourself for something so cool that you did. And again, I go through this stuff all the time, but we have to allow ourselves that moment of like, yeah, it was really cool and then just shut up and end it there because it is cool and that's what's gonna boost your confidence so you can get to the next level and accomplish more and more. So another thing that I really absolutely love is something that I've implemented in the last maybe two months or so and it's this self journal. I'll link in the description box. Brian got it a few months ago so I was like, oh my God, I need that. And it's like a non-negotiable for me now. I try to do this every night before I go to bed and every morning. I don't always do it every single time, but I'm working towards that. But what you do is basically write down your schedule for the day. So it's like kind of a to-do list task manager, but there's also notes and ideas next to each thing that you schedule. You write down what you're grateful for in the morning. You write down your goals for the day. You write down your three top targets for the day, which really helps me set intention of like, what do I want to accomplish today? I didn't do it today, so I've been kind of frazzled this morning, but anyways, it says, what will make today a win for you? And then it'll also separate that with a dope quote. All these quotes are really great in the book. This one is, I do not know the word quit. I either never did or I have abolished it. Next, at the end of the day, it'll be lessons learned, so opportunities for improvement. And then wins, so it's like your brag zone, like I just said, like celebrate your wins and it gives you like a structured section to just do that right there. And then tonight I'm grateful for and gratitude and being grateful for whatever you've had that day or even if it's something tiny and small, gratitude is something huge. So self journaling, even if it's just regular writing, even if it's not this particular journal, I love this journal, but it really helps you get clear on allowing yourself time for wins and just being confident in what you're doing the next day and that day ahead as well. So it just really helps me clarify. I absolutely love it. Highly recommend doing that to help you continue to believe in yourself. And the last tip that I have for you guys is, I have like my notes right here, is to accept feedback from the right people. 
Feedback is something that I have learned to love and accept. I have a, like, a love-hate relationship with it here on YouTube. Whether I like it or not, there's feedback in the comment section for me all the time. Regardless of if it's like validating my confidence or whatever, or if it's like stripping it away from me, um, I try my absolute best to take the feedback at anywhere I see it from other people and maybe say like, you know what, maybe that's a place where I can develop myself. And honestly, it's even even though sometimes it's kind of like, oh, people are mean and blah, blah, blah. Sometimes it, there's some validity and truth in what's said and I'll take that and be like, you know what, maybe I need to develop myself more in that area so I don't come across like that or I'm actually not acting like that in person if that's something that I think I need to work on. And it's actually been something that's really great. So a lot of the time, it doesn't necessarily have to be a comment section of strangers, but it can just be your friends and family. People that you love the most and people that support you the most, people that know you, people that know what makes you happy, know what makes you tick, all of that stuff, asking them for feedback and accepting it and not being defensive about it and just being like, oh, okay, got it. Like, I can just develop myself as a person this way and gain the confidence in that what I'm doing is good and then there's also stuff that I can improve upon, but the improve upon doesn't have to be you being stripped of confidence. It can just give you a way to build up more confidence by developing those areas. Does that make sense? Yes? Great. And if you guys are still looking for maybe people who support you, if you don't have super supportive people in your close relationships at home or whatever, there I do have three free communities um, on Facebook and groups. So I'll, I'll link them below in the description box. They're super, super amazing. I love them. The more than just gaining followers group is people that are looking to grow their, grow their following, but spread their message. There's also the Fitness Online Coaching Academy, which is a community of online trainers. And then there's also Ignite Your Fire community, which is just anybody and everybody who just wants to be in a community of people who are looking to get their, their fires lit. So you guys can go join those and make some friends, introduce yourself, put a video out there, say where you're from, and maybe you'll meet someone who lives in your area and that's like-minded. Speaking of feedback, um, I am sending this out to my email list, but I wanted to open it up to you guys as well because I do love and support you guys and I appreciate your feedback so much regardless of if it validates my confidence or not. I really appreciate it because without you there would be no me. There would be no there would be no YouTube channel here. There would be a me, but there wouldn't be a YouTube channel. There wouldn't be a community. So, I truly appreciate you guys and I love you guys and I think what your feedback is from a loving place a lot of the time. And I really want, I would love for you guys to participate in the survey that I also put in the description box that's just about, about me and about how you experience me and my content and I would just love some of your feedback just for a project that I'm working on. So if you guys want to do that, I would absolutely love it and appreciate it and thank you guys so much. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I loved making it. I love talking about this kind of thing. If you know someone that would love to hear this video, that they would appreciate it too, you guys give the video a thumbs up before you head out and I will catch you guys in the next one. I love you all so much. Keep believing in yourself. Love you guys.